Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. Guess what I want to paint? I want to paint a bicycle with flowers in the basket. Isn't that fun? Here, I'll show you the reference photo. I have a few reference photos, photos <laughs> linked in this video's description. But here's what this one looks like. And I cropped in on it. And then I'm going to do something else I haven't done before. So I've never painted a bicycle with flowers. I'm going to paint it the background white. So this is a canvas from Michaels. It's 12 by 12 inches, gallery wrapped, a half inch deep. I like the ones that are splined like this. It means there's a little rubber gasket in there. I'm going to paint it a couple of coats of white, which kind of scares me, but I think it might be fun. And then I'm going to also use structure gel for the flowers. So it's definitely going to be a playtime. Okay, let's get started. Let's stop and chat for a minute. So I was excited. I painted the canvas three coats of white so that it's, you can't, if the light's shining behind it, I'm, oh, I'm not gonna be able to show you. Um, it's more opaque. You can still see a little bit through the canvas. Also, because, so I scribbled on the back of my photo. I printed this out 12 by 12. And then I scribble on the back of my photo with yellow chalk pastel. And I should have went with it, but I was having a hard time seeing it. So then I scribbled on the back with black chalk pastel, which is a really dark staining color. And it, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's staining my canvas and making it look messy. So I'm not happy about that, but, um, and it won't really wash off because um, it's just so staining. Usually the chalk pastel just absorbs into the paint or it doesn't matter, but on the white canvas it matters. So I've already got myself into trouble and it doesn't wash off very well. Oh, there it kind of is. Maybe it will wash off. Of course that, if I don't get it really clean, it might set it into the white paint below it. <laughs> but what I can do is I know that it's titanium white I might put some texture. I'm going to use texture gel on this painting. You know, I might put some white texture or we can, we can fix it. But right now it's, it's frustrating me because it's messy. So the colors I'm going to use are burnt umber, the titanium white I just showed you, cad yellow medium hue, and Mars black. And then I'm going to add, I'm going to add Prussian blue for flowers. I might go with a brighter blue. We'll have to see. So basically I'm going to have blue, yellow, and brown are my colors, black and white. And then all I'm doing is just painting in. Um, this is, this painting is easier for me to hold in my lap and paint than it is to sit off to the right. I have my phone pretty much straight on, but it still looks like an angle when I video it. Oh, there, that kind of washed off. Maybe it will wash off some of the chalk pastel. I should have used maybe, instead of going from yellow, which was too light, to black, I should have used like, I don't know, a blue or a brown or something kind of medium value. Um, I lost my train. What else I was talking about? Oh, I'm just getting some paint on for now. I'm not sure just how detailed I want it. My sun or my light coming pretty much from here, just following the reference photo. I don't know if there's anything else I need to say. Oh, I'm, I'm using an old quarter inch beat up flat brush from Royal and Langnickel. There's not even any writing on there. It's just a little quarter inch flat. And then I also grabbed a half inch flat. Uh, from Royal and Langnickel. This one's their Zen line. It's hard to read the words on that one. I don't know if that helps. 
And then really I should have just turned off the video and done them straight on. They would have been a little bit straighter. But I can come back with a palette knife and texture. I'm going to use texture gel or structure gel. So I've used this in other videos. I've linked some videos um, that I've used this in in, the, in this video's description. <laughs> it's really fun. It does make the paint glossy and more transparent. And it's really thick. But it's fun. It's like painting with frosting. Okay, guys, I think that sets the table. That's the colors, the brushes I'm using. I'm going to paint a little bit more of this bicycle, and I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I'm going to stop here. I, I think I'm going to put some texture on, I think I already talked about that. Like it's kind of dirty down here from my black chalk pastel, so I'm pretty sure I talked about that. I painted my handlebars gray and white, and I'm going to paint the basket gray and white during the live. I'm gonna, I'll link that live in this video's description. Just to help keep it separate from the bike a little bit. And then I don't, oh, I'll probably mix a dark green or something for the flowers. But my flowers are going to be, we're going to have them take up quite a bit of space, I think. I'll put a flower in here to cover where I can't see what the handlebar does. Actually, I think I brought it too far down. I think it would kind of come this way. And then it connects like right here. Like there's a cross, or there's a, like a U shape that we can't see. Or I could even bring it down. But I'll stick a flower in here somehow. Uh, what else? I feel like it could use a little more layers. Of course, the video smooths it out. Looks good when I look in my phone. I think it's a palette knife and maybe even getting rid of some of these spokes. That's really strong down here. Gosh, we might do that. Do that during the live too. Here, we'll take a little tour. But it could be done. Yeah, I think we want to calm those down or kind of white them out a little bit. But the brown just helps me separate the dark black tire. There's like a little dirty white wall or something from the bicycle. It's almost a little bit like the rusty truck I painted. But that rusty truck video is really... Um, I really got into the rust. I'll link, it in the, I'll link that video in this in the description here. So I just kind of shift my colors and values a little bit. Painting kind of messy. I'm not sure. I knew the white background would make me nervous. I think I'll like it in the end. And then once I um, put a gel gloss layer on it and varnish it, then it'll be easier to wipe up and keep it clean. Okay guys, this next bit will be the live and then I'll be back.
okay. That last time lapse bit was the live. I'll link the live in this video's description. And this is several days later, and I'm noticing that, you know, the leaves or whatever I'm putting in here are close in value to the basket. So I might, even though I darkened up the basket on the live, I may lighten it up because I'm looking at it with different eyes a couple days later. And I've just kind of indicated where I'm going to put um, the structure gel flowers. I put some brush, brushing. I put some Prussian blue on my palette. Made some greens with the yellow. Made some pretty greens. But I'm wondering if I want to start a new palette and just start putting the flowers on. I mentioned during the live that I like the bicycle a lot better. I wasn't liking it. Oh, and I'm going to tone this down. Um, the spokes. They're too too busy, too close to the edge of the canvas. But um, I think it might just be time for the structure gel flowers. I've kind of figured out where some of them are going to go. So you mix this stuff with paint and it'll become more transparent and it'll be glossy. Just a heads up. And there's other structure type things out there that you can use. Molding paste. Okay guys, I just wanted to pop in and let you know that last little bit was alive. I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, but the time lapse, it probably hasn't been that long. This is at least a day later. I did dry this with a hair dryer, but now that it's dry overnight, I don't want to push too hard, but it's pretty set. And I mixed more blues. So it's just Prussian blue, white, and um, structure gel. And I think I'm gonna, I thought I'd do one in real time, and I'm gonna try this flat flat palette knife. Well, it's not as thick as I want. <laughs> Here, I'm going to turn it. Since we're doing this in real time, it won't make you dizzy if I turn it. Let's start it. Whoa, I just hit the canvas. It takes an awful lot. So while this is a simple painting, there we go. And it like um, while this is a simple painting, it takes a lot of paint and gel. So I'm going to grab a little dark and a little bit of my blue. And hopefully I didn't just... I'm kind of doing a tulip shape. It's not as thick as I want. I just need to get braver and glob it on. That's better. I'm just going to grab some light. There we go. I just needed more. Sometimes you kind of have to scrape. I can't, there's not much room between my phone and my canvas, but sometimes you scrape it off and then scrape it up again so you have more of it beat it up on your palette knife. Get it more on the end. Then squish it on like frosting. Oh, I kind of like that. This made me squish. My flowers get bigger. I'm also trying to cover the uh, paint that I have down there where I kind of guessed where my flower was going to go. I don't think I mind that. I'm going to wipe, I wiped off the palette knife on a paper towel. I 
think I better stop because I'm starting to. So what's nice about having these dry is that it's not sticking too bad to the dry ones. Um, I'll link in this video description where I demoed how to do the spoon. That's pretty much the same thing. You scoop it up on the back of the spoon and you just squish it on. If you don't like that, you can turn it and change the angles. Oh, here, we'll do a, we'll do one here. Well, in this one, I just squished on with this one. Oh, it got stuck. It is easier if you turn the canvas. Okay, so let's... So I just grab it on the end of my spoon. But see, I had a pretty big puddle, and it, you know, it... It takes a chunk out of it pretty fast. So I'm wiping off my spoon on a paper towel. I'm gonna grab some light. Hopefully that's in frame because I'm actually almost behind my camera. Here I'm gonna kind of look. I think that was in frame. like finger painting in a way or I don't know if that it's maybe not totally true but it's definitely plain I think that's all right I think we'll just leave it I think that's so fun okay I'm gonna work some more on this and I'll be back in a bit Hey friends, what do you think? I, I really like it. And then I didn't like the white background till the very end when I just took straight up Liquitex basic paint. I didn't put any gel, um, any structure gel in it. So none of this. And I just put it on thick with a palette knife. To, and the reason I had that in mind all along, but also the reasoning being to tie the background in with the painting through just texture. So that that just tickles me. I really like that. One thing that's happening so I don't forget is my metal tabletop easel. You won't be able to see it, but it's leaving like little dirty marks on my white painted canvas. But once this is all dry, I'll touch it up with some white. Here, can you see? Oh, here, let's, let's stop a second. So I mixed um, a little white and the yellow so it'd be opaque. A little white and my green, so a little bit of Prussian blue, a lot of yellow to make the green, and a little bit of white to make it opaque. If you want it transparent and translucent, don't do that. And then I just made some shades of light green. It's a very pretty color. And I put out black and didn't use it. I don't think I need it. I was thinking about putting a little bit of black dots. I could. I could put some black dots in there. But I think, I think looking, I'm looking, hi, <laughs> you can kind of see me. I think looking in my phone that it's good. I need to let it dry, go have some dinner and see what I think about it tomorrow. 
Okay, let's see if you can see. There, I'm really surprised. I thought maybe the Liquitex white would level, but it really didn't. I don't know if it would work with a soft body paint, but it worked with the student grade basics. And I'm not sure why they call it student grade. The basics is just amazing. I buy the Liquitex basics and the uh, heavy body. Isn't that fun? I have, I, I don't know how many paintings I have now. I think my first one was a pumpkin or flowers and a pumpkin. I'll link that in this video's description. You'll find them in my flowers playlist. I guess if I get enough of these, I better put a structure gel playlist together. I like the little, I call them fried egg flowers. So they're kind of round with a dot in the middle. I think that's really fun. I ended up lightening and darkening that basket. I don't know how many times <laughs> like I could decide. And then I lightened up the spokes, which I like a lot better. And then my painting does, I want to be careful because I've got a lot of wet, squishy paint. It does go onto the side a little bit. It does go onto the bottom. I don't know if I can get back far enough. And I, it barely goes to that side, and mostly just the bottom. Okay, let me know if you give this a try. Let me know if you try some other um, structure paste structure type gel and let me know what you think of it i just these just make me happy you guys make me happy i love the comments i am overwhelmed with the support you all are the kindest people on the internet super appreciate your support great big happy art hugs and i hope to chat with you soon bye guys